All right, what can have an impact to, uh, to your sleep? One of the things that can have a major impact is food. Um, asking yourself this question, if you haven't fallen asleep, what did you eat? Now, I'm not telling you that you should go on a complete fast, but it's a good idea to avoid heavy meals before you go to bed because heavy meals can actually take a lot of energy to digest and that digestion will disrupt your sleep and it also prevents your brain from flushing out all the garbage that's inside usually happens while we sleep so i normally recommend that you eat two to three hours before you go to bed like one of our previous videos so you can give your body enough time to digest your food and um, you could potentially have some snacks let's give you a list of foods that are approved for sleeping first one is a fruit called kiwi now kiwi is great because according to a study people who ate two kiwis an hour before bed could sleep on an average 42 percent faster yep the kiwis are not just for fruit salads and smoothies you can actually eat them an hour or two before you go to sleep the next one is tart cherry juice i love tart cherry juice because it's it's got a different composition it's sweet and it's tangy but it's a remedy for insomnia as well studies show us that having about 250 ml of tart cherry juice once or twice a day can actually make you sleep for an hour and a half longer now that's amazing why because of its increased melatonin the next one is bananas now bananas are high in an amino acid called l-tryptophan which is an essential precursor to the hormone that i spoke about earlier melatonin so essentially you can have a banana if you have to eat you don't have to desperately have it but if you wanted a snack, then this is a snack that you should be looking for. Kiwis, tart cherry juice, bananas, and overall, having turkey for dinner is great because again, it's high in an amino acid called L-tryptophan. And this is why when we eat turkey for Thanksgiving, we normally feel very sleepy. It's because of L-tryptophan. The next one that you could have for dinner or for lunch is a mix of um, smash fishes salmon mackerel anchovies sardines and herring these fishes are high in omega-3 fatty acids especially higher in epa and dha they also have a lot of vitamin d and when you combine all of these things together your brain enhances production of a chemical called serotonin serotonin is called the happy hormone because it makes us calm it makes us relax and it helps us fall asleep faster in one study eating salmon three times a week people fell asleep 10 minutes faster than people who had things like chicken beef pork yeah and one of the other things is simply carbs now according to a study carbohydrates especially that can help increase the curve of the blood sugar a little bit faster can increase serotonin and tryptophan those hormone and amino acid much quickly in your body so what i like to tell people is if you want to eat carbs with dinner then stick to things like white rice sweet potatoes or complex carbohydrates so here are some or here were some of the foods that you can incorporate in your diet. We started off with snacks, then we mentioned some of the things that are good for you just for dinner. So remember, sleep is very crucial for your health. So even if you have to take an extra step and go to get these sleep promoting foods, then it's totally worth it. I'll see you in the next video.